First look at Flash CS3. About Flash CS3. Adobe Flash is a multimedia software that allows the users to create desktop applications, mobile applications, games, animations and various other facilities. Flash documents have the file extension .fla. Adobe Flash CS3 provides you with everything that helps to create rich web content like it enables the users to create interactive movies or animations. It uses vector graphics that can be scaled to any size without losing clarity or quality. Videos and audio can be embedded. It is extremely well suited for content over the internet since its files are very small. Flash does not require programming skills and is easy to learn. It includes many features that make it powerful and easy to use. For example, pre-built drag-drop user interface, components and special effects that you add to your media elements. Starting with Flash CS3. To start Flash, select Start, go to Adobe Master Collection CS3 and then Adobe Flash Professional CS3. This screen appears. Components of Flash Window Stage is the most important window in Flash CS3 as it allows a visual management of the animation components called objects. Objects on the stage are different components of the Flash animation. It can be a simple or composed drawing text box, button, an animation. There are special objects named flash symbols like buttons, movie clip, graphic that are used to manage a group of simple objects and animations. Toolbar contains tools that allow drawing of new components and the management of their properties. Property Inspector allows the management that is view or modify the selected object properties from the stage. Panels are used in making a flash project. All those windows can be activated or deactivated using the window option from the application menu. Timeline is the second most important window in Flash CS3 because it allows the visual management of the animation scenario. It defines when and how an object appears on the stage. It defines how the objects are used. The timeline contains layers that have frames. Layer is a logic component of the timeline that is associated with an object or group of objects. It defines the behavior of the stage objects that are in this layer. The best practice is to have each stage object on its separate layer. A layer contains a set of frames. Frame is the basic component of the timeline. It defines an instant of the object behavior. For example, how it looks, what are its property values, what is its position on the stage. There are special frames, key frames, that are used by designers to modify the object properties. Workspace. When you open Flash, it opens a blank document which comprises of six major headings. Timeline, Stage, Work Area, Layers, Panels and Toolbox. These components have their own functionality that unites and provides unique results. Creating Flash Document Select File and then New Option. The new document dialog box appears. Click on the type of flash animation and click on OK. Flash window will open. Tools panel. The tool panel in flash displays the tools used to create or modify drawings and text. Some tools have a triangle at the bottom right corner. On clicking it, a pop-up menu appears with more tools. As you select a tool, tool modifiers appear at the bottom of the tool panel. 
These are used to set tools option. The properties inspector displays the properties of the selected object. The tools for planning are kept in the tools bar, usually positioned at the left of the flash screen. Selection, coloring and text tools. Selection tool. The selection tool includes shapes, strokes, fills, symbols and bitmaps. It lets you select elements. You can also select several objects together by holding down the shift key or by using a lasso or a selection box. If you double click, the object turns into editing mode for various parts. Paint Bucket Tool This tool has two purposes. One, it changes colors of simple shapes. Two, by double clicking, you can change the color of strokes by editing. To color a shape with Paint Bucket Tool, first click on the Paint Bucket Tool. Next, select Fill Color and Style. Then click on the shape in which you want to fill color. Text Tool Various text properties may be defined such as font, color, alignment, etc. You can also define indent, line spacing and margins. Line tool. The line tool is used to draw a line. You can simply select the tool and drag on the screen or stage to draw a straight line between the start and end points. Rectangle tool. The rectangle tool helps to make rectangular objects. Simply select the tool and drag on the stage to draw a rectangle that spans between the start and the end of points. Eraser tool. The eraser tool works similar to a traditional eraser. Select the tool and drag on the portion to erase your drawings. Eraser mode option. In the options listed at the bottom of the toolbox, you can specify the eraser mode. Erase normal. Erases strokes and fills on the same layer. Erase fills. Erases only fills. Strokes are not affected. Erase lines. Erases only strokes. Fills are not affected. Erase selected fills. Erases only currently selected fills and does not affect strokes, selected or not. Erase inside. Erases only the fill on which you begin the eraser stroke. If you begin erasing from an empty point, nothing will be erased. Strokes are unaffected by eraser in this mode. Oval tool. The oval tool is used to make circular objects. Select the tool and drag on the stage to draw a circle that spans between the start and end points. Pencil tool. The pencil tool is used to draw with pencil. You can select the tool and drag on the screen to draw with the pencil tool. Frame by frame animation. When the still pictures are simulated in a sequence of movement, it is called animation. The individual pictures take a continuous motion and then break into frames. Frame by frame animation enables you to have control over a video. Timelines are used to define flash animations. Each flash file can be embedded with video clips. Steps to be followed to do frame-by-frame frame animation. Open a new stage by selecting File and then New. Select Text Tool and type H. You can change the color, size, style and font from the Properties window. Go to Frame 5 and make it a keyframe by pressing F6 key. Write E. You can change the color, size, style and font from the properties window. Similarly, go to frame 10, press F6, write L, then go to frame 15, press F6, write L and go to frame 20, press F6 and write O. Press enter to run the movie.